Friday, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to this week's Friday Sews. Now I ummed and ahmed about whether I was going to do a Friday Sews this week. It's Friday the 1st of December and I am taking part in Vlogmas or attempting to anyway. What I realised when I started filming Vlogmas this morning was because the 1st of December this year has fell on a Friday, it means that unless I want to do my Vlogmas as a full weekly update, which no one's got time for, then um, my whole plan is to keep Vlogmas very short. I don't want to have 20 minute Vlogmases, they need to be a couple of minutes, five, ten minutes long, so um, they're not too boring. Um, so I want to keep that short, so because of that I decided that I was going to give you a Friday Sews this week to give you a full week's update of what I've been up to, because I have got quite a lot to share with you. So I've got some makes to share, I've also got um, a disaster project to share, well not a disaster, it doesn't look like a disaster at the moment, but I'll tell you about it in a minute. I've got some fabric and stuff that's come. Um, so yeah, quite a lot to tell you about. First of all, what did I get up to last week? So on Saturday, I went to the social that I go to at the end of the month, which is Becky's from What Beck Sews. Absolutely love it. It was great to go and there were some real familiar faces as well. The lovely Heather from my other social that I go to was there and also Shannon from um, the Sewing Warehouse. And yeah, it was just really, really nice. It was really busy actually. Now. I took my new overlocker with me this time and I was showing off with my overlocker so apologies and I think I might have convinced Heather to buy one but we'll see. Anyway so what I actually took along with me were my pyjamas which I think I talked to you about last week. I had this fabric, that's probably the smallest piece of fabric I could possibly show you. <laughs> Get a bigger piece. This fabric. So this fabric here is this gorgeous cotton jersey that I got from Anna from Pattern Pouch Nest. And I have got, well I had seven and a half metres in total of this fabric. And I have cut out four pairs of pyjamas. A pair for Alice, a pair for me and a pair for the girls. So the adult pyjamas were Juno pyjamas. So I managed to sew up at the um, social the pyjamas. Um, put the cuffs on so it's the Juno pyjamas by Tilly and the Buttons I haven't put the waist on yet because I just need to check my girls waists with some elastic and I haven't had a chance to do that yet so they still have the waist to do but that is literally just putting the elastic in um, overlocking it in and then turning it over like that so they are a quick finish I also still need to hem them so these are the tops they've got the cuffs but they need to be hemmed at the bottom and I'm planning on using my cover stitch which is sat up there collecting dust at the moment but I'm just a bit intimidated by it so I need to watch a few YouTube vlogs on how to use it. So they're the pyjamas, um, I just haven't had a chance to finish them off this week so they're sat down there ready to go but like I say it is just checking the elastic fit around the waist and then also um, hemming which um, I'm looking forward to having a little play on my cover stitch with that. So that was the main thing that I did at the that was the only thing actually I did at the social. It took a lot longer than I thought it would do. Um, I did have to do some cutting out when I was there. Because I was limited to fabric, I um, was kind of cutting as I go because I wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to get myself a long sleeve top out of it. But I managed to get them all out of it and I was literally left with minuscule scraps of the fabric. So that was really good. Now, last time at the swaps table, I didn't take anything this time I did take some pieces now the first bit of fabric that I picked up was this jersey which I know was Becky's and I just love these hearts on this striped and there's quite a lot of fabric left there so I thought they'd be perfect for a pyjama top I also actually thought that with Valentine's Day coming up after Christmas it'd be nice to have like a casual top maybe for that so maybe the Seasons of East off the shoulder number would look nice in that but yeah pick that one up and to be fair it'd been on that nobody had picked it up so I thought you know I'll take it I'll take it off your hands the other piece of fabric that again I think this might be Becky's fabric as well <laughs> of course it is was this fabric and it's this really lovely uh, glittery 
sparkly leopard print now there's about half a meter there no there's more than that about 0.7 there and that i could get a nail top out of i know so um yeah pick that up and yeah hopefully be able to make something really nice in that one and then the final three things that i got were all from the lovely claire who is um so red is it so red i'm probably killing that i'll put that down there but she is somebody that i originally met on um a pattern course that i did it um where did i do it i did it at the crafty so-and-so and we kind of stayed in touch ever since on instagram and now she started coming to the socials and last social she brought some lovely fabric which was a fabric that becky made her heydays in now i actually nabbed it first but Becky's little face lit up when she saw it, so I let her have it. Um, and she's made some heydays. And because I have very, very similar taste to Claire, I knew that she probably, A, was going to bring some nice fabric to put on the, on the um, swaps table. And also, I was probably going to like it. So she did. She put two fabrics on. The first one was a remnant piece, but there's, there's a bit there. And I think with a bit of colour blocking. And it's this fabric here. Again, leopard print. Bit of gold in it gorgeous really like that very sparkly for christmas so i'm thinking um there's the tula t-shirt t-shirt by sewing by mason that you could do a color block with, along with black that would look nice there's also uh, there's also the one by made 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 it patterns but that's got a color block down the back um so yeah there's a few different options that that would be perfect for so that will go in my um large remnant pieces and then the best of the best was this atelier brunette cotton gauze with these silver dots on and there is about a meter there i think yeah a meter of that so you could get a lovely top out of this so yeah pick that up as well because it's a designer fabric on the swaps table so what else are you going to do and then she also put this on the swaps table which is the tilly in the buttons romy top romy dress and top now it um says that it's optional back ties or contrast binding and a fun twist to the classic brayton or t-shirt dress has a modern loose fit a high slash envelope neckline with a choice of cap three quarter length or full length sleeves designed for knit fabrics and it says <laughs> whip it up whip it up whip it up it took me forever but i'll move on to that later so i picked this off the swaps table and straight away thought i know what fabric i'm going to use to make this and you can probably already see in the background that i made it up but i'll talk about it in a minute so they were the swaps table that i got from my sewing social so I also did take along with me my Danny, which is the seam work pinafore that I've been working on that I'm making in my weird fabric. But I didn't even get that out of the um, project bag. And to be honest, I just haven't had a chance to pick it up this week. So I think this is going to be what I take to sew tune this weekend to finish off because I've just got the skirt to do. Um, should be fairly straightforward, she says. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking if I take this and the pyjamas, um, then I can get them finished off this weekend. So let's talk about the sewing that I did get done this week. So I haven't got it to show you because I've sent it off. I was to the wire as normal. So as part of my brand ambitionship for So Confident, I was making a gorgeous, comfy, Christmas themed dressing gown for their window display for December. And I was making it in, have I got any of the fabric? I was making it in this gorgeous um, Robert Kaufman flannel, like a brushed, real nice brushed cotton. And um, I decided as a last minute addition to put some Sherpa fleece on the neckband. And also to put on a patch here, which had a little Santa that said Merry Christmas. Now I've got photographs that I'll be inserting as I talk about it. I am so proud of this make. I did the French seams all the way throughout and the Alice & Co pattern which I used was the lavender robe and it's the first Alice & Co pattern I've ever made and it was really good instructions. They even 
instructed you on exactly what to do with the French seams because some patterns will say follow the French seam method of finishing the seams and then they just leave you to it. Whereas this told you exactly how much to make the first pass and then the second pass and it reminded you to trim and it, it told you how to like release the pressure out of the arms and then to bind um, a French seam afterwards if you didn't like the snip in it. So it was very, very good. And I decided against trying to pattern match the pockets and I did them on the diagonal because I just couldn't be getting into that drama. But it's a really nice frame and I'm really happy with it. So it's a shame I won't have it for Christmas because it'll be in the display. Um, but yeah, love it. So that's gonna be packed away probably when it comes back and, and go in my stash for next Christmas. If you are a beginner sewist and looking for um, a very easy robe to make, I would definitely recommend the Lavender Robe by Alison Coba. Okay, so moving on. Um, then I was in the office this week for a team lunch and I thought I'm going to make something new. I'm going to make this because it's going to be a really quick sew. And I'm going to use this fabric that I got from Pounds Fabrics, which is a, I would say it's like a ponte. Um, not loads of stretch very stable but i love this houndstooth kind of print and it and it would be perfect for work so i thought yeah it's got good eating room for over the over the tummy and yeah really really happy so made it up looks fine doesn't it turn it round the tie and then there's this thing going on here a massive gate in the back and i don't understand what i've done I mean, has anybody made this? Do you have this gape in the back like this? Because this just feels crazy. I feel I must have done something wrong. I feel like I'm going to have to unpick all this. Um, I don't know what's going on with the arms. I just don't know what's going on with this at all. I feel like I keep looking at it. So it should be like, yeah, I feel like I've put these on wrong or something. I don't know maybe that should be lower that should uh, i don't know as i said i've done something wrong i did get a bit confused with the notches on the arms and i was rushing because i wanted to make it for work and it's backfired because obviously this isn't right now this fabric was really cheap from pound fabrics it's like three pound fifty a meter something like that but i love it enough to sort this out so the plan is, I mean, I think I've overlocked one side but not the other. The plan is when I've got time to unpick this and try and figure out what the hell I did wrong by maybe remarking out on the pattern pieces, the markings and everything. Um, it's a bound neckline, so I use some really funky um, jersey neck, uh, jersey binding that I had in my stash, and yeah, it was looking really promising, and I really liked it, and I was really happy with how straight I'd got the the um arms to match up i mean even if you look there look at that arm can you see the arm actually goes across it actually completely matches up which i thought was genius but it just looks terrible on the back so i just need to get it resolved um i did contemplate maybe putting a pleat in it like that and then you've got a bit of a box pleat but yeah it's still not right here so i'm pretty sure that i can resolve it somehow um look it's like I just don't know. I just don't know what I've done to it. So if you struggled with this Romy, can you let me know? I wish I'd just done the straight back, but I just really like this detail at the back. Um, but yeah, I need to sort that out. So yeah, that's my Romy. I'm not happy about it, but I want to resolve it. I want to fix it. I want to unpick it. I want to get it rectified. So we'll see. But yeah, it wasn't as easy to whip up as I thought it was going to be. Never mind. Other exciting news that's happened this week, my Confident Capsule Collection fabric and notions and patterns got delivered yesterday. I have filmed my unboxing and that should be up this weekend. So that is for my Confident Capsule Collection Autumn dressmaking course. Um, if you, you, you know I've talked about it, I don't need to go on about it anymore. All of that fabric and notions came yesterday and oh my god, they are so good, so good, so good. Love them and then the other bit of happy post that i've got is my fabric godmother order now i have gone through this with you already and um, showed you visual images of what i actually got but now i've got the fabric in the flesh i can show you so this was the hound tooth fleecy sherpery fabric and i ordered two meters of this to make a danny in but now i'm thinking i wish i'd not got as much because i think one of these would have looked nice in it but 
I'm still going to make the Danny, I think, because I think this is going to be a lovely winter snuggly version of the Danny to have. So, yeah, that's my two metres of the hound's tooth. And obviously, I got 25% off this, which was a bargain. There was this other wool fabric, which I obviously fell in love with. And this is a lot softer than I thought it was going to be. Um, and it's got like the inside's like knitted and the outside if that is the outside is fluffy so I suppose it's what's your preference do you prefer the knitted side or the fluffy side I think I like the fluffy side the best um but yeah that is gorgeous and that needs to be a Marlowe or something like that don't know but I just loved it so I've got two meters of that as well here is the gorgeous Christmas it's on a na really dark navy background and it's gorgeous isn't it this is going to be my christmas day dress for definite now i know i've got about 27 fabrics in my stash for christmas day um but this is definitely going to be the one now so i am going to make the mia dress by maison fauve um i'm going to get it off pdf because it's quite an older one of their older patterns for those of you who don't know that maison fauve release their current collection only on paper and they only release them on pdf wouldn't save gone on to their next collection so the Mia dress I can get and it's a gorgeous um eating dress buffet dress loads of like it's a swing dress there's loads of room around the tummy it's a high neck which I love ties at the back and it's got a big v at the back which gives it that little bit of um partiness so yeah I've got just enough out of here I think I've got two meters oh, I didn't I don't know what did I get two meters yeah, two metres of that, which I should be able to get the dress out of. So that's going to look gorgeous. Happy about that. Again, 25% off those fabrics. Now, I have a little confession. I caved last minute, and because they were giving 15% off, I ended up getting the Fabric Godmother advent calendar. Now, my theory here is that it got such bad <laughs> reviews last year that they would have made this one really, really good. So that's kind of my theory. So we'll see. Um, you'll, you can see tomorrow. Well, you'll see when I upload my Vlogmas what I got in day one. But yeah, I did okay and get that. Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> okay, so that's all the fabric that I got. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was on Sunday I went to a spa with my friend and it was really really lovely and um, it was for my birthday and my bestest friends who were sisters um, and they took me to a spa which was great and then they also got me a little pair of earrings and there are these gorgeous silver sewing machines and these are non sewing friends that have bought me those so I just thought they were really really nice. Um, I'm going to wear them this weekend to sew too. And then the other thing that I got when I was there, they had loads of little um, like shops at the spa and they, you know, little boutiques. And I walked past this gorgeous little bracelet that was silver and it's got a little robin on it. And it's got a little red chest. And it's in this little Christmas cracker box, which I've actually broken. But yeah, this is by um, Joma Jewelry, which is in Drayton, which is a local jewelers so yeah i love that and then the final thing that i wanted to show you talking about robins is my lovely friend grace who is the nan mk that sews on instagram she comes to our socials that becky runs and she also came to sew brum and she is just the loveliest lady ever i received this parcel the other day and had no idea what it was I couldn't think of any fabric that I'd ordered. Anyway, I opened it up and there was this little card in it that said Stitch Friends. And I'm going to read the card out um, and I'm sure Grace won't mind me reading it. But she put, from your birthday vlog, you mentioned you how robins are special to you. So I couldn't resist getting this little kit and knitting it up for you to remind you of your sister. Have a lovely time at So Too. And in there was lots of chocolate which she has apologised for because it's going to mess my diet up but you know it's okay these little stickers with robins on gorgeous and then she knitted me this how lovely is this now when I opened this I burst out crying and it wasn't like sad tears or anything because it reminded me of my sister or anything like that. it was just happy emotional tears I had had quite a crappy week that week 
and this fell on the doorstep and I opened it and I just felt such a sense of love um, from Grace that it just overwhelmed me and I burst out crying and it's just so lovely and this little Robin who is yet to be named um, maybe Rebecca I think Rebecca Robin is quite a nice little name um, she is going in my pride of place in my sewing room and go with all my other Robins and yeah it just means so much so again thank you thank you thank you so much Grace for this lovely lovely gift of wonderful goodies it means so much that you took the time out of your day and money to make me that and yeah just such a lovely feeling so thank you so much okay so this is i'm going to keep this quick i say that every time but it's over 20 minutes now um so vlogmas this will be up on friday evening hopefully if i get my act together and then i don't think i'll be doing a friday size going forward because you'll have your vlogmas so you'll i'll keep you up to date on a daily basis but I, as i said i was just keen to get this one in because you wouldn't have had an update from what i've been doing this week um, and yeah i'll keep you posted i am this week i am off to so too um at the weekend so as i said i'm going to take the danny with me to get that finished off um becky's picking me up tomorrow on saturday and we're driving up to newcastle uh and we're going to be staying over in a hotel and meeting up with the lovely northern soul sisters and also lucy from geek repeat so um, Geek Petite. So I am looking forward to that. We're going to have dinner with them on Saturday night, hopefully, and then we'll be at So Toon on Sunday. And I think we're having a cheeky little stopover at Thirst for Fabrics. So I'm excited about that too. Okay, that's all for me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope if you don't subscribe, you consider subscribing, and I'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas. See you later. Bye.